Hey, it's Tracy and Jay cooking again today with Stuffers of Kissel Hill. There's this little place in Lancaster that we love to go and they make the best hot dogs. So we thought we would share with you some fun ideas on how to jazz up hot dogs for the summer times so that instead of just having the plain boring old hot dogs, you can have hot dogs with flavor. So Jay's out here cooking on the grill. He's got the hot dogs going. And in addition to the hot dogs, we are also going to show you how to make an Amish barbecue, Amish hamburger barbecue. It's going to be really good. Just cooking up regular hot dogs over here. And on this side, we've got some hot dogs wrapped in bacon. We're actually really excited about this recipe. It's Amish barbecue, and it's a recipe that we got from one of our Facebook friends named Judy. In this pan, we have browned two pounds of ground beef, and we also chopped up a large red onion, and we browned that along with the, uh, the beef so that it's nice and tender. To this, for the barbecue part, we are going to add one cup of ketchup. Just plop that right in. Don't worry about stirring yet because there's other ingredients we're going to be adding. So we have one cup of ketchup. Now we need three tablespoons of vinegar. White vinegar is the best. I didn't have any, so we're going to use tarragon vinegar. It'll be interesting to see how this turns out. Again, three tablespoons of vinegar. Doesn't want to come out today. All right. And now we're going to add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And three tablespoons of brown sugar. Don't you love how brown sugar is always so messy? That's about a tablespoon. All right, next we have one teaspoon of garlic powder, and we have one teaspoon of parsley flakes. And we're going to add three teaspoons of yellow table mustard. Once you have all the ingredients in, give it a stir. And you want to turn the temperature down to medium-high heat. And you're just going to let this all mix together for about a half an hour until it's a little bit liquefied and everything is bubbling and covered in goodness. Our Amish hamburger barbecue is done cooking and Jay can't wait. We usually wait until the end to taste everything. He thought it smelled so good he wanted to dig in right now. So go ahead and take a bite and let us know what you think. It's falling apart. Perfect mix of sweet and sour. I'm getting it all over. <laughs> Perfect for a great anytime barbecue and a, any night of the week. Are you okay? You need a drink? <laughs> but it's good, right? It is excellent. It's just hard to eat and talk at the same time. That is correct. Jay doesn't have that mastered. Nope. We're going to have to work on that. Our hot dogs are done cooking, so now we're going to show you how to jazz them up. As far as the hot dogs go that we made with the bacon wrapped around them, just throw them in a bun. That's all you need to do. This is my favorite kind of hot dog, and it's called the Los Angeles. And what's in it is avocado. We're going to put two pieces of sliced avocado into the bun. Then we're going to take diced cucumber and put that in. Next comes tomato. So to recap, we have sliced avocado, diced cucumbers, sliced tomato. I'm going to add a little bit more cucumber. Next comes celery salt. Just sprinkle that in over the veggies and do, do enough. Then comes the burger. I mean the hot dog. You knew what I meant. 
hot dog goes on top and it gets topped off with ranch dressing. I kid you not, this is incredible. The Los Angeles hot dog. So can't wait to try this. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Now that I've finished scarfing down that amazing Los Angeles dog, Jay is going to show us how to make what he calls the Memphis dog. Now unlike the Los Angeles dog, you actually start off by putting the hot dog on the bun before dressing it. Next step is just getting chili, just regular old canned chili, plopping that right on the hot dog. And then you go right for the coleslaw. And this is bagged coleslaw that we got in the salad section of the supermarket. Dress it like that. Close up the bun. And it's ready to go right to your mouth. Excellent. <laughs> you don't want to stop eating it, do you? No. <laughs> That's how I was with my dog, too. It's all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We're all family here. You can just lick it off. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Next up is the Texan dog. This is another great way to dress up a hot dog, make it really fancy. All you have to do is stick the hot dog on, go right for the chili, plop that on. And with Texas, it gives you a little spice. So you go and you have some onions, deck them out. That's a then lot of onion. The jalapenos, and you just sprinkle them on I every hope you like single hot. section of the hot dog, and then you just top it off with some cheddar cheese. And you close up the hot dog. Of course, you can always use a lot more cheddar cheese if you're a real cheese fanatic. We want to see you take a bite right into the jalapeno. Big bite. <laughs> and you're wearing it again. Mm -hmm. You enjoy wearing that, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think? The chili sauce cools it down. The jalapeno is right there to give you some smack. Great way to dress a hot dog. And last but not least, Jay is going to explain the concept behind the Kansas City Dog. Well, Kansas City is the home of barbecue, so we're all just going to stick the hot dog right on the bun, get it dressed. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce. This is just some hickory smoked barbecue sauce. Just he likes to put a lot of condiments on his dog. Right on the hot tell. dog. <laughs> and to top it off, you just use crumbled bits of bacon. Now, optional, you can stick some cheddar cheese on it. I choose not to because I like to add extra bacon. And all you do is Close the dog, and mm. <laughs> happiness. Mm -hmm. Special thanks to Stoppers of Kissel Hill for supplying the groceries, and also to our Facebook friend Judy for the recipe for the really, really good Amish hamburger barbecue. Bon appetit!